Man, you wanna sit with your brother today? That's cute. Hello everybody and welcome back to Ivan Calendar Season. Oh, I forgot to take my medicine. I was gonna say I'm feeling so much better, thank goodness for medicine, but I, I did also forget to take that today. I'll do it later, it's fine. Today we're gonna be getting into an Ivan Calendar we've never done here before on the channel and I really don't know too much about this brand. This is the Nude Sticks 2023 Ivan Calendar and besides getting Nude Sticks stuff like in other things, like in subscription boxes or other Ivan Calendars, I don't really have much experience with this brand, so I thought this could be a fun one to do. I also am starting off today pretty bare face besides some mascara that I put on because I look like a naked mole rat otherwise and whatever makeup is clinging on to dear life from yesterday. But I figured we'd start off with a fairly blank canvas in case there's anything that we want to try on my face today. This was $100 when I purchased it. It is now $90, a whole 10% off, you know, December 19th here, just a couple days before Christmas. At least it's on some type of sale. I do think it's actually kind of strange when advent calendars don't go on any type of sale this close to Christmas. What are you counting down to? There's only a couple days left. Put it on sale. See if people will buy it. This is supposed to have 12 bestsellers in it and has a $250 value, so that's not terrible. On the website, it has a 3.9 star review with seven reviews, five of those being five stars and two of those being one stars. But it does also say on the website that this was voted 2023's top advent calendar. I don't know by who. It says it on the website though, so I'm sure somebody said it. It did also come with a couple little free samples here, so that's nice. We have a Nude Sticks Tight and Bright Face Mask. And then we also have a gentle hydrogel face cleanser. And I don't know what's going on in the Nude Sticks factory, but there, there's something been nibbling on these little tubes here. It couldn't have possibly been tiny tater teeth because he never chews on anything. <laughs> they must have rogue, like, two-year-old Boston Terriers running around the Nude Sticks factory chewing stuff up. Also, I'm fairly certain the final day of the advent calendar is stuck to the back of it. I'll keep that a surprise for you guys because it definitely was not a surprise for me. <laughs> I'll go ahead and take that off so it's like a big reveal at the end. <laughs> oh, it actually kind of was a reveal. Oh, well. Oh, okay, so I wasn't quite sure how this is gonna come. I thought it might be, like, individual little boxes, but we do have some punch doors, which can be a tiny bit for... I don't know why I saw that in the corner and I thought they said Allie and Jeremy and I was like how'd they know? Is this personalized to me and for some reason my husband? All right so let's go ahead and get started here with day number one. Ooh, very perforated. Good job nude sticks. I could actually like stick my finger into it without being injured. Almost. Now if I could actually get the thing out of the box because the tube is larger than the hole is. <clears throat> First thing I'm coming across here is a Hydra Peptide Lip Butter with Shea and Avocado Oil in it. That actually sounds really nice. This is in the shade Dolce Nude and I'm wondering if it's just gonna be kind of reminiscent of like this creamy color out here. That could be a very milky lip color, which you guys know how I feel about milky lips. This sounds really nice honestly. I have super super dry lips. I just have on some like chapstick right now, but this has avocado and shea butters to instantly soften lip texture and lock in moisture, so that sounds lovely. Ooh, this looks like a pretty shade. Okay, I was afraid it was gonna be like this or like the color of my very grossly painted nails. I'm sorry. Oh my god. Gosh, that smells amazing. That smells like a candle. It smells like a caramel macchiato candle. That smells fantastic, and I think the color is gonna look really nice. It just has to. The color might not be exactly what I was hoping for. I was hoping for more of like that kind of rich, kind of caramely color, but once you apply it to the lips, it kind of disappears a little bit. But that scent is fantastic. That smells so good. It's gonna make me hungry. It unfortunately doesn't really taste like a caramel macchiato. That would be lovely if it did. But I don't know how much, uh, you know, lip gloss you're allowed to eat in one day, so that could be potentially dangerous. But it does feel really nice on the lips. It's not sticky, feels nice and hydrating and smooth. Man, guys, I'm sorry. I really thought my voice was like back 100%, but I'm guessing not. I'm having, there's just like a thing. There's something here. It's not letting me breathe real good. So I'm sorry that I'm sounding a little hoarse still. Moving on here to day number two. Oh, just a little nubby stick. That's very small. Is a nudies all over face highlight. Light. This is in the shade Bubbly BB. That's a cute name. It's supposed to be a multitasking balm on eyes, lips, and face. Okay. So I call it a balm and not really like a, a cream shadow stick or anything. So I'm interested in seeing the texture. Oh, it is real balmy. It just, it's like shiny chapstick. Like if somebody put some like shiny mica powder into some chapstick. It's a little on the sticky side. I don't know if I can handle this for like my eyes. I am not a fan whatsoever of like sticky stuff on my eyelids. Like it has to, whatever's on my eyes has to dry down. <laughs> I also don't know how I feel about it just for like standard highlight because it is so sticky. It doesn't feel like 
creamy or like a cream to powder kind of formula. It does feel very balmy. It definitely doesn't feel too bad on just kind of like bare skin. I feel like if you were to try to put this over top of like foundation, setting powder, blush, that kind of thing, it can get kind of gunky. And it honestly does give like kind of a nice glow to the cheek. It's very, very subtle. I'm, I'm putting a good amount on. Like I really drew that on there very good. And then once you actually pat it out, it just looks like kind of a subtle sheen. Ugh, that rosacea popping through on this side looks always just so lovely and red and inflamed. I don't know, I almost do kind of like it on the cheeks because it is giving me just that subtle, almost dewy look. And I am always saying how I want my skin to look, you know, dewy. But on days where I'm not wanting to wear, especially like a full base, I might actually give this a try because I think it does look nice. And once it's blended in, it loses a lot of that stickiness. All right, day at number three is over here in kind of the larger door. Oh, we're squeezy tube. Not really feeling like a very full squeezy tube, unfortunately. I don't know if you guys can hear, but just like all of this is air. <laughs> it's mainly air. It's like a bag of chips. This is a citrus sea mask and daily moisturizer with yuzu and turmeric. Apparently this little tube here has several different uses. You can use it every morning as a daily moisturizer. Apparently you can put it under your makeup and then you can layer it on as a nightly mask treatment for dehydrated skin. That's lovely that it has so many different uses. I feel like if you were to do all three of those every day, you might run out of this little tube very fast. I'm kind of interested in how it smells. I'm not the biggest fan of the scent of turmeric. Tur Why is it hard to say? I think I've lost roughly one fourth of my uh, moisturizer here, but <laughs> let's go ahead and just see what this smells like. Almost nothing. Ooh, that is rich feeling. That's so thick and creamy. Oh, okay, there is a little bit more of a scent now. I'm getting that kind of like citrusy yuzu scent. Ooze, ooze, that, that's wrong, yuzu. Mm, that actually does smell really nice and it feels really thick and creamy. I could see how this would feel really nice on our makeup, honestly. It almost has a little bit of like, not exactly a silicone slip to it, but but kind of. I guess it's just how like soft it's making my skin feel. It just has that kind of almost powdery texture to it. So I could see this working well underneath makeup. I do wish it was just a little bit larger. And apparently the full size of this is 39 bucks and it's only 2.03 ounces, which I personally think that's kind of a lot. 40 bucks for two ounces? I think that's pretty expensive. The full size is 60 mils. This is 20 mils. So we're getting like one third of the size of the full size. So rel oh my goodness. So like basically like 13 bucks for this. I'm really sad I wasted like $4.70 cents of it on the table. <laughs> Why did I use that to try it on my hands? Why did I squeeze out more to put it on my hands? That's not where it goes. Why didn't I use that? I tend to be a retroactive thinker. Like, oh, that's probably what I should have done. All right, day number four is up next. Ooh, another little no. So this is another nudies all over face stick, but this time it's a little like thing, all over face dewy color. This one is in the shade Sweet Cheeks. That is a very small amount. <laughs> that is quite a small amount. I'm not sure. I'm assuming these aren't full size products like these little nubby guys here. But yeah, that is actually a very, very small amount of product, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like. Oh, that's pretty. Just very, very light. I feel like that could just be a nice wash of color over the lips or a very subtle blush. At least it's a new piece of tissue paper every time. I'm gonna try this on the lips first just to see what it looks like. Okay, so the particular issue I'm having right now, I'm sure is not the fault of the little stick here. It's likely the fault of my, my crusty lips that are just always so dry <laughs> for some reason. Uh, lack of dehydration? No, the opposite. The presence of dehydration, perhaps. But it seems to be clinging like pretty intensely to like any little dry patch on my lips. Like the color is just really concentrating around any little dry patch. Whereas like this first thing here, just kind of smoothed over them and my lips look a lot more smooth. I'll try it also on the cheeks. That adds a little, a little life to my face, I guess. I was looking kind of ghostly. I probably should have done less on my cheek that always just illuminates red, but that's okay. Yeah, okay, those two sides are not, not matching. Okay, yeah, so like kind of ignore this cheek over here because as soon as I like touch it, it turns red. The more I touch it, the more red it turns. Uh, this one's a little bit better. It's not as sensitive and reactive. So like you can see there's a, there's a hint of pink. There's a very small hint. It would be an incredibly subtle blush look and I'm just wondering and let me know if you guys have different skin tones than I do how well something like this would translate onto like a deeper skin tone. This is I'm very pale and it's really not showing up too terribly much. Day number five is up next and it's this itty bitty tiny little door here. Oh, okay, well, that's kind of deceiving. It was like partially down in here too, so it's not as small as I was anticipating. Oh, fun, an eye color. Okay, I'm excited about this. Ooh, it's brown. I love brown. 
such a basic eyeshadow shade to love, but I truly do love like a really nice brown eyeshadow. We have a magnetic matte eye color in the shade Aubergine. I would expect to look a little bit more eggplanty because I'm pretty sure an aubergine is an eggplant, but this looks very brown on the tip. That's just such a nice, like it, that went on so nicely, it swatched so nicely, <laughs> very pigmented and smooth. I'm not really picking up on like any kind of like eggplant subtle hints to it or anything, it just looks fairly brown. But to me, I think that's a really nice color, I think that's very pretty. I personally would use this as like kind of a smudged out wing or something, or even like a brown all over if I was going in for a more intense eye look. I'm hoping they dry down and stay put really nicely. I kind of want to turn this into just like a little smudgy wing. If I could find a daggone angle brush that doesn't have purple in it that would make it more aubergine -y. but all of my angle brushes for some reason have purple in them now so every time I do my eyebrows with an angle brush they're partially purple could I wash them yes <laughs> would that be like too much logic and too much sense yeah <laughs> this little flat brush here does this have purple in it what the heck I'm just gonna rub it on my pants real fast I'm wearing old black sweatpants this will be fine I'm just gonna smudge a little bit of this I probably shouldn't have put on mascara just yet I also don't know does nude sticks make mascara I should have waited to see if they did I'm just gonna kind of smudge this over my lash line and then use that little brush to kind of wing it out a bit oh yeah see I like that I think that's pretty okay just a little close-up there of the eyeliner I kind of like that it's diffused it's a little bit like smudgy grungy hoping it stays put nicely because it's definitely something that I would continue to use as eyeliner Ooh, it's not smearing on my hand that's a really good sign all right six is up next here oh this looks big you really gotta dig oh boy this looks very very intense I think if I was a little bit concerned about like that pale pink being too sheer on the cheeks this might fix that so the next thing we have here is an all-over face blush color in the shade hot fire hot dang okay oh this is a nudie's matte all-over face so the other one was dewy this one's gonna be matte and my goodness that's such an intense shade so we have a dual ended stick here with a super short little brush and then the product. I'm going to assume this is a full size because it does come with a brush as well. So I guess I'm also going to be trying this one on. <laughs> this side of my face is going to hate me. I'm going in real, real light with this one first. Okay, maybe, you know, a little bit darker to where you can actually get something. Okay, there we go. Nice little clown dot blush. <laughs> I'm going to take the tiny brush side and start blending. Okay, yeah, this one I definitely feel like I can already see a lot more than the last one, even with that tiny little dot. Color pigment on this one definitely, definitely it shows up quite a bit more, quite a bit more than the last. Even with basically just the smallest little like like a little tiny kiss of blush. <laughs> uh, I definitely have a lot more color laid down now than I did before with two layers of the last one. So I was kind of concerned about them not having a blush shade that would match like a more wide range of people. But I feel like this definitely would. I feel like this is much more pigmented and would show up much easier on a lot of different skin tones. It's definitely a little bit of an intimidating shade, but I feel like you can control the pigment. So like I just did a tiny, tiny little bit and I got some pigment out of it. But if you like a more intense blush look, I'm sure you could layer this bad boy up and you could be in a hot, fire just like face on fire if you wanted to all right day number seven is up next oh dang it this is mascara <laughs> shucks I honestly and truly didn't really know what all nude sticks made because like I said, I've only tried like the little uh, multi-face sticks and some eyeshadow sticks, that kind of thing before from them. So I didn't know that they even made mascara or else I would have waited to put mascara on before this. This is a lash lengthening mascara. I like the little stars on it. I think that's really cute packaging, just the black with the little gold stars. I think that's really cute. I don't know if you guys can see it because I can't tell if it's focused or not. It has a 4% tripeptide boost complex, which I'm sure that's wonderful whatever that is for me what i typically am going for in a mascara i like a volumizing mascara length is great but i really like a lot of volume in my lashes like i want them to look kind of thick but, you know they might look a little chunky every now and then but that's fine i really like just having fullness to them all right day at number eight is down here in the corner a little bit of a bigger door Man. <laughs> All the larger size things are all squeezy tubes. Ooh, this could be fun though. This is a Lemonade Detox and Glow Micro Peel. That sounds kind of fun. It has lemon, papain, apple, and pomegranate in it, and uh, I like the idea of peeling. <laughs> Something about like the word or like the thought of peeling sounds like it's gonna work. Kind of like in that same sense of like if it burns, it's working, which is not a good thing to go by. <laughs> It's not a good thing to go by, especially with skincare. I feel like when we were younger and we were using like Stridex pads to try to get rid of our acne and we're like, yes, I can feel this burning my face off. It must be working. I feel like I still have a little bit of like lingering thought of that, like in the back of my head, like, oh, if it's burning my face off, it must be working good. Moving right along here to day number nine. All right, the next thing we have here, it has been a tiny bit since we have received a brow gel, but for a while there, that's all we got was just brow gel. <laughs> 
this is another one. We have a Brow Set Gel XL. It says this is a long wearing, medium hold, clear gel that grooms and sets your brows in place. Ooh, packed with multivitamins and peptides. Brush on brows for a feathery or natural look. I personally am not a feathery brow kind of gal. Oh, it actually has a little bit of color to it. It looks like it might be kind of a lighter medium brown. That's the tiniest little wand at the tip of that. It's so cute. And it's supposed to do that. <laughs> I thought there was just like a little bit just stuck to the wand, so I put it back in there to try to mix it up, but it's coming out like little like chunks of like curdled chocolate milk. That's such a gross way to describe it, but I don't know how else to describe it. They're just like kind of chunky. It's not really sticking to the brush. Like I can't mix them in, if that makes sense. They're not like mixing together. They're just like separated little, little chunks. Yeah, like see on my finger how it's like, it just stang and like clumps. It's almost like little clumps of glue. Instead of being like one homogenous thing, it's just little chunky bits. It smells just like glue. It smells like tacky glue. Even though it is kind of chunky and weird, I definitely can feel it holding. It doesn't feel too like crunchy on my face. Like I can still move my eyebrows and stuff. So that's good. Um, I'm just not sure about the consistency and texture, if that's standard. Or maybe this is like separated a little bit. Maybe I should mix it up some more. Give it, you know, one of, one of these. But I don't mind this. I like that there's a little bit of tint to it and it also doesn't like fully freeze your eyebrows. It doesn't look like you just got a few rounds of Botox or anything when you put it on. You can still like have movement to your brows, which is nice. All right, day number 10. Ooh. What is this? So this is something a little bit different. Uh, the next thing we have here is a blot and blur matte stick. It says this is a multitasking ultra soft clear balm that blots oil and creates a matte finish to blur perfections, dot and blot all day on the go. What's a little frustrating about this is I feel like this might actually be a full size item and I would have loved to have seen maybe one of like the color makeup items be a full size item. I'm sure this is a useful product for a lot of people. I'm assuming this is something that you would need to be wearing again a very light face of makeup maybe not like a heavy base maybe not a lot of powders to be able to actually use this throughout the day because I would imagine again it would get kind of gunky feeling but it's it's a different kind of item. Again, I just kind of wish that instead of, you know, maybe like this little tiny guy, like this would have been the full size and this could have been the little tiny guy, if that makes sense. <laughs> All right, day at number 11 is the last day inside the actual calendar and it's kind of a big size. I'm excited about that. Let's see what we got. Oh, it's a tiny little box. Ah, ah. Oh, it's a bigger size box than I thought. Ooh, stuff in here. That's exciting. No way. There's like four little products inside this tiny little guy. That's fun. Oh, this one's a mystery. It's fully, it's just black. So let's see what we got. Oh, it's a oh, it's a sharpener. I was just talking about how I typically don't use things that I have to sharpen because I never have a sharpener. However, I feel like this is a very nude stick centric sharpener. It's kind of thick. But we did also get several sticks. Sticks in here. So that's very exciting. Looks like we have two luminous eye colors and one matte eye color. So let's go ahead and get some swatches. That's a fun little surprise nude sticks. I really like that. Plus this little box is also pretty cute. So it's just a little black box. It says nude sticks on the top, but it's metal. And I think that's pretty cute. I don't know why these are so hard to get into. I feel like this little plastic should not be this impenetrable. We have Rustic Grotto here. And then we have Pariah. Both of these went on very creamy smooth and I think both colors are really pretty. I'm really liking that Rustic Grotto. Kind of like a bronzy shade with a little hint of glitter to it. And then Pariah is a more like champagne gold shade. I think these are super pretty. Very soft, very creamy, very pigmented. I like those. And then for the matte eye color, we have Marooned, which I do like a good maroon eye look. So I I feel like this is going to be pretty as well. Ooh, that is so creamy pigmented. That's even more creamy than these two up here. This would be such a beautiful like fall or holiday look. I think all of these together could be really pretty. Okay, since I've already gone ahead and put on my eyeliner, I'm going to order of operations or not match it up here. I think I'm just going to use some of this pariah, maybe just to give me a little bit. Is that how you say this? Pariah? Pariah? P-R-A-I-A. -A. Just to give my eyes a little hint of shimmer. Yeah, this one isn't nearly as creamy as that matte one. I guess it's because it has a little bit of like glitters and stuff to it. That matte one is so creamy. This one almost feels a little bit more of like a wash of like fine glitter. Okay, yeah, that just gave me like the lightest little shimmer over my lids. Again, maybe not too like impactful of a color, but the little fine glitters I think are kind of cute. If I hadn't already put on like eyeliner and stuff, I definitely would have gone in with 
with this uh, creamy matte shade down here and maybe a little bit of this uh, rusty one. But I feel like that kind of would have been hard to work around with the eyeliner I have on. Uh, but yeah, I'm really excited that we got three eye sticks in one day. I think that's really nice. Because I honestly was getting a little bit like disappointed with the lack of like colorful makeup in here because I knew that I liked their eyeshadow sticks and like their lip colors and things. So I was a little disappointed we weren't seeing more of those. So having three in one day is great. And we got the little sharpener and we got the box. So very fun. All right, you guys, that brings us to the final day of the advent calendar. Honestly, that would have made for a great final day, but uh, they did have this attached to the back of the box. So when I got it, there was a little 12 sticker and I honestly, I couldn't see what was on this side. So I thought it was just like a black bag. So I could have saved it for a reveal for myself, but on the front here, it is actually pretty cute. It says sleep, hydrate, sunscreen, repeat. And then I think these are pretty cute because they feel embroidered, like actually into the bag. They're not like little uh, iron on transfers or anything. So like all the patches actually feel like patches. I kind of wish this was also embroidered. I feel like that would have been nice. But this is a decent size little makeup bag. You can put all of your, you know, your sticks in it. It's good for sticks. It feels decent quality. The zipper on it feels pretty nice and it is branded with nude sticks. Definitely more usable than some of the other random items that we've seen in these advent calendars. You know, it's not a tiny teeth check-in mirror. It's not a sticker. So I feel like this is a useful, usable item and it's pretty cute. So I think this, this is a nice final day, especially since day number 11 was so good to be followed up with this. I think, I think that's a pretty nice way to end the advent calendar. So guess with that, that is everything in the advent calendar. And I feel like I like it. I do feel like I like it. $100 is a lot. $90, a little bit better. Nude Sticks, I guess, is a pretty expensive brand. I'm wondering how big these are. Oh, the, the lid's gone already. I'm wondering if these little shadow sticks are the full size. That would be really nice if they were, or at least close to full size. Hey, oh my gosh. Okay, these are actually really close to being full size. So the full size is 0.1 fluid ounces or 2.8 grams. And these are 0 0.088 fluid ounces or 2.5 grams. So like 0.3 grams off being a full size. Apparently with each $27 eyeshadow stick that you do buy though, you do get the makeup tin, a makeup mirror, and then a makeup sharpener. I don't think we saw a mirror, unless there's a mirror like inside the tin. There is actually a mirror inside of the tin and it's bigger than most of the teeth check mirrors that we've gotten throughout the advent calendars. It, it's a little wonky. It's a little bit of a funhouse mirror, but it's a decent okay size. So we are getting several almost full size eyeshadow sticks in here and that's pretty good, especially since they're like 27 bucks a piece. But I, I don't think it was that bad. $100 is still really expensive though. So let me know what you guys think. I'll show you guys like an overview of everything here so you can get your full opinion. Here's an overview of everything that came in the nude sticks advent calendar. Here's my hand for size reference. Um, and we're definitely, you know, a little bit skewed here with the large bag. I honestly, I don't know if this is too terrible. Like these four little guys here, basically we could say like they're what, like almost 20 bucks a piece. That's like 80 bucks worth of makeup right there. And then we have a couple little other makeup items and some lip products and things, a couple skincare items. Overall, I don't think it's too terrible. Of course, as I said, $100 is a lot and you could take that $100 and just go specifically buy things that you know you're gonna like from the brand. But I do think this could be a really nice kind of cute gift for somebody if they enjoy the brand or they enjoy this type of makeup. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. I don't I don't think this one's too bad. Let me know all your thoughts and opinions down below. Let me know what you guys think. Please go ahead and consider subscribing if you would not mind. I mean, the absolute world to me and Rin and Tater. Uh, we do have a ton of advent calendars left to go and uh, I just hope you guys have a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day and I'll see you all next time. Bye.